Hi, this is Tamika with Pages, Pens, and Pine. I'm here with an unboxing of Planners Anonymous Heartfelt Home Subscription Kit. This kit is um, coordinates with the Heartfelt Holidays Journaling um, kit that you would have seen me use in my Christmas planner setup. And so this is one of two Planners Anonymous subscription kits that are the last of its kind because the kits are going to be changing. So if you're interested to see what's in this particular kit, stick around. All right, so let's get into this kit. Here we have the pin. It has this beautiful light blue color. Looks like there are white, green, and blue crystals on the inside. The pen is going to be leaving the kits. I'm a little sad about it, um, only because they're, they're pretty, but they're going to be leaving the kits soon. All right, here is the mystery item, and this mystery item is a set of sequins. So it's a sequin mix. There is a card back there, but can't see it. It says snowed in, I think snowed in something and then the back side here says carton rule always snuggle up but yeah that is the mystery item some sequin mix sequin mix oh couldn't say that right for a second here is the stamp set um so you've got the cardinal on the tree branch there it says it's cold out there baked freshly so you could do freshly baked mixing it up Hashtag fail, up, um, nope, little birds here, and then snuggles, you could do snuggle up, burr, warm and cozy, the cute teddy bear, some cookies, some snowflakes, sorry, um, my voice is going because allergies, and then we have some icons down here, a mixing bowl, a food scale, the bird, the um, stand mixer, another bird, cookie, and an oven. But yes, that is the stamp set. It's all about the winter, kind of winter fields, cozy winter fields. Um, what do we want to look at next? Let's look at our art card and die cuts. So... We have a season for freshly baked cookies and snuggles with loved ones. And you have the scarf there with some snowflakes and snow in the background. And here is the character of the kit and her name is Noelle. She was named on a Planners Anonymous Live by one of the customers. Gave her the name Noelle and she's all nice and cozy and the cardinals are so cute. All right, let's pull out our die cuts. And take a look at those. Push the washi over here. So there is Noel. Let me zoom in for you guys. So there is Noel in her comfy pajamas. We have some potted flowers here. And all of these die cuts are adhesive die cuts, so there's adhesive on the back. I don't know if this is a flower or is this supposed to be yarn? I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be. It looks sort of like a flower, but I'm not sure. So y'all tell me because I don't know. We have the bookmark divider piece, which has a lot of different elements from the kit. Some comfy, cozy socks and some sweaters. Um, what is that? A jar of cookie mix is what that looks like. Oh, sorry. Then we have a sprig from a tree and a yarn heart. So I think maybe that was yarn a minute ago when I wasn't sure if it was yarn or flowers. You have the window scene with the cardinal. Some more sprigs with berries and a pine cone. A scarf and a stack of books and then a cozy sweater 
there's another cozy sweater there so yeah I was wondering how books came into the there's a paper with books and I was like where are the books coming but this is the only other thing I could think of that has the books okay yeah some more yarn heart there there's some kitchen goodies for baking some of those same things you saw in the stamps Another cozy sweater, unless I just accidentally picked that up again. A scarf. Another tree sprig. Ooh, let's look at all the cookies. So, cookies with hot cocoa. Some more plates of cookies. Those cookies look really, really good. Mmm, they do. I have a candle that smells like freshly baked cookies. So here's a candle and a basket of warm clothing. A bowl of soup with some nice crusty bread to go alongside it. We've got the cute teddy bears. They are so adorable. I was wondering if they were like mirror images of each other so I could make a bookmark with them. And not quite, but it could work, right? To put a, a paper clip, I mean, to put a paper clip in there, it could work. I think that would make a really cute paper clip. And then the beautiful cardinals, there's these two snuggled up together, and a few others. One that's in flight. <clears throat> So those are the die cuts, and like I said, they are adhesive die cuts, so they do have an adhesive backing on them, so you can use them as stickers. Again, I apologize for my voice. Um, it's just the allergens right now. This is cedar season here in Texas, and this is the worst time of year for me for allergies. All right, so there's that. Why do I feel like something's missing? Maybe I'm just tripping. Let's go to the washi. So this scrap piece of paper here. Um, that this first washi tape is a plaid pattern with hearts on it. And I can't find where it starts. Right there. Okay. So a plaid pattern with hearts. And let me zoom in even more for you on that. Then this washi has the cookies on it. Y'all know this is going to be my favorite one out of these three, right? Because y'all know I love me some pastries. And then this one has the beautiful winter scene with the cardinals and trees. This one with the cookies and this one with the cardinals both have a little bit of silver foiling on them. And this has a pretty nice repeat up to here. If you could see that. So it repeats up to here. So there is that one. Very pretty and you can see the little hints of the silver foiling in those. Those are really pretty washies. They're all three so very, very different too. Which, that's my only, that would be my only concern about using all three of them together. Maybe these two would work okay together, but I think it would make for a busy spread if you used all three of them together. That's just my opinion. All right, let's go into the stickers, because like I said, all of this is changing. Um, We've got one more kit that will be coming that is in the same style, and then things are going to be different. I'm a little excited about it, and I'm a little nervous about it, so we'll see how that works out. Okay, so in the standard kit for now, what's considered the standard kit, you would get two sheets of stickers, one page that is very decorative, like this page here. And then you get a page that is pretty functional. So you have the date dots, some headers, the days of the week, and the folding planner sticker. A lot of different elements will be returning in the new subscriptions, but there are, there's a big, big change. 
um, all the stuff you see here will not come in one kit anymore. You will have to do separate, you will have to add different kits to your subscription to get everything that you will see here. So, like I said, the pen is no longer going to be there. So that is the standard stickers. Let's go ahead and take a look at the standard paper. So right now, we have where you can add on paper, and then you will get a total of 12 papers. But now you're only going to get five in the paper lover kit, which I was a little bummed that we're not getting the same amount of papers. I was quite bummed about that actually but yeah that's part of those changes so here we have three different papers two of each and then acetate and vellum so here's the first one this beautiful scene with the cardinals and the trees and then it's got the sweater pattern again y'all I'm really tired of the sweater pattern I'm not gonna lie I get that it fits with this theme but I think we've seen it so much in the last year. Yeah. Yeah. This one I think is really, really cute because I think you could use it portrait. You can use it landscape. I like this one. It's so fun and cozy. And then there's that print on the back. This is a very pretty color. And then we have one that's just plaid, which you can do so much with this. And then you have blue on the back of that. Here is the vellum, which is just like that paper with the cardinals. And then the acetate, I don't know which side, okay, just has the snow on it. So this is how they look together. Pretty nice. So that's the standard paper. So you can well, you were able to add additional papers, let me say were, because that's not an option anymore. You have to add a whole paper lover's kit to get any paper at all, or you will not be receiving any paper if you don't add the paper lover's kit. So in the paper lover's, in the additional papers right now, you do get an additional sheet of um, acetate and vellum. So duplicates of those. And then you get three other designs. Like I said, that's going to be going to a total of five designs, 10 total papers. So you're losing a design, which I'm really bummed about. Um, everything ha is increasing in price. So that was another reason I was like, well, wait a minute. We're getting shorted a piece of paper. But it is what it is. So here is a very pretty one with the cardinal and the cardinals and the sprigs and berries and then there's green on the back of that one then over here we have this beautiful window scene which you'll see a similar window scene in another kit coming up and it has that plate of cookies and hot chocolate there and it has a brown on the back and then here's the books. So when we look at the previews and I saw this book paper, I was like, where do these books come from? Because there's really no other element that I saw that was books. Not that die cut had the stack of books, but I wonder if there's anything in the sticker book that has it. This is a pretty color too, this tan color. So yeah, I was kind of like, well, where are we getting books from? But we shall see. So those are the additional papers. As I stated, coming up and the changes for the new year, you would have to purchase the paper lover kit to get any paper at all. All right, the sticker book, the sticker book is going away. It's gonna be a sticker pack now, um, but we are getting more sheets of stickers, but in the sticker lover subscription so there will be a sticker lover subscription which is just stickers and then there will be a planner lover subscription which is basically stickers and washi with a few other things in there but um there will be more stickers sticker sheets um but we're going to be losing paper in the paper lover so if you want 
if you want what I'm showing you now, you would have to get the Planner Lover and the Paper Lover subscription together to get what I'm showing you now, even with the changes that are going to be made. But yeah, so here is the first page here. I love the fireplace. Then we have this page. The teddy bears are so cute. They're so, so cute. And then this page is clear stickers with all of the cookies and the baking items on it. And that soup. Oh, I just noticed the pies. Then over here we have the minis on paper. There will still be minis and the other stickers in the new subscriptions. There will still be weekly themes. Um, some things have changed with that as well. But yeah, so where these are usually separate pieces, it's going to be one long piece now. So you don't have to piece them together anymore. But I don't know if you can tell, this is four pieces here. But we still will get four themes. I don't think we're getting foiling anymore. Um, supposed to be getting a thinner sticker paper. And the downside to that is no more foiling on the stickers. And then here's this theme with a window scene. There will not be any habit trackers anymore. A lot of the things that you got in your monthly kits are moving to what they're calling a quarterly refresh. And so every quarter they will have this quarterly refresh and it will have more stickers and these will be different from the ones that you will see in your monthly. And then each quarter will have a color way. And so the quarterly refresh will work with all of those um, kits from that quarter in terms of color. Here's some clear stickers and date dots. I don't know if we're getting date dots. That might be in the quarterly. I can't remember what they said about that. Um, we still haven't gotten a, a look at the quarterly yet. The quarterly refresh to see how that's going to work because um, that's going to determine I you know, if a lot of people purchase it. We have some washi pieces there. And here we've got all the functional stuff, like checklists and boxes. There will still be boxes in the monthly kit, but a lot of the boxes are going to gravitate to that quarterly since the whole quarter has the same color way. So there's going to be extra functional stuff in the quarterly. Quarterly is more on the functional side than the weekly kits. Which, though the, I'm, not, I'm sorry, not weekly kits, the monthly kits. So the monthly kits were supposed to be more deco, but we just saw previews and there's going to be a lot of icons and I'm so not happy about the icons. Like, not happy about the icons because it's supposed to be more deco. Icons to me are not deco. Icons to me are not something that I can't get somewhere else. Planners Anonymous deco, you can't get anywhere else. I can get icons anywhere. So that was a little bit, a little bit of a bummer. Um, we're still going to have these headers and things. They're going to be formatted differently. And also on the weekly themes, the days of the week, they're going to be kiss cut instead of in a rectangle now. So that's another change. There will be no habit trackers. Those are going to the quarterly, which, um, I'm kind of bummed about that because, yeah, we need habit trackers, but. Yeah, so I'm hoping that this quarterly refresh thing, it needs to be everything because, yeah, it needs to be everything. <laughs> but yeah, that's what the kits are looking like for now. We only have one more kit that's set up this way. Um, I'm sure any extras of the older kits, you'll be able to purchase them online. But here's the additional stickers. Here were the standard stickers. Um... Let's see, we have the additional papers, and then we have the standard papers. And like I said, all of this is changing. Die cuts, I'm trying to remember which 
when the die cuts come in. I can't remember if they come in the planner lover or the paper lover. I'll try to remember and insert it in here. But yeah, there's. I would go look at the last few lives that they've done to get an idea of what's going on with the kits. Um, so you know. Um, if you are already a subscriber and you have not been paying attention to what's going on, you may have already been migrated to something that you may not want to be migrated to. So it's very important that you go back, look at the lives, get an idea of how things are going to change. One thing that is a bummer though is people that were just getting the standard kit can't just get a standard kit the way that it is anymore. And it's going to be a lot more money for them to get what they were used to getting. And I think that is a a huge disappointment for those people um, because some things are going to be in the planner lover's kit and some of those things are going to be in the paper lover's kit and they would have to get both. Um, and it's going to be quite a bit of difference in cost for them. But yeah, so just go check out their last few lives, see how the changes are going to be. Um, I mean, I'm, I love a lot of aspects of the change and there's some things that I'm just not feeling, but that's with anything, right? Um, but yeah, so we're just excited and anxious to see how it's all going to play out. Um, Cause yeah, I'm really looking forward to see what's going to be in that quarterly refresh. There is a new Melody Planner coming out as well. So be on the lookout for that. You can always use my code um, pastries and that will save you 10% on your first subscription. So that's something to think about. But comment below. Let me know what you think about Heartfelt Home. Um, do you love this cozy winter vibe? I don't like cold. I don't mind cold in my planner. <laughs> I don't need cold in my real life. So I don't mind it in my planner. And I love to be cozy all year long. I love to be cozy. I wear flannel pajamas like all the time. It doesn't matter what time of year it is for me. I love to be cozy. So I do love the feel of this kit. All right, guys, you know what else to do. Be sure to slay, subscribe, like, and accept the alerts so you don't miss any videos. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.